Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to Arkham Horror. This is turn one. Let's get straight into this. We've got Shovel Mel as the boss. We have the Bureau is on the case. We've got Bast helping us out. And we've got the Black Goat of the Woods spewing forth its filth into Arkham. Okay, so I did all the setup and everything in the last video. If you want to see all the player powers and all that kind of stuff and everything explained, go check out the last video. Uh, we just need to draw the first Mythos card to get started and then do our turn. So let's do it. Bam, Mythos, ya boom. So we have Independence Square. So let's, uh, that's down here. Uh, so let's uh, get rid of that and put down a gate. And we have two monsters. And... Now we are using the black goat of the woods, which means every time a gate opens, we actually have to draw another monster from the hexagon monster cup, which is this little one down here. So it's actually three monsters per gate opening, which is pretty harsh. And of course we have a, a doom token. And you can see the new, the new monster tokens. Basically the new monster tokens are like, uh, I made new meshes. So they're, they've all got uniform border colors now and uniform border thickness. Plus I use Chaos War Monk scans, which are very nice scans. And I rebuilt all the backs in uh, Strange Eons. So they're very clear and easy to read now. Awesome. Okay, a strange plague. The investigators cannot gain stamina except by receiving medical care at St. Mary's Hospital, Orphan Vincent Lee. And we have a clue at the unnameable. Okay. So. He's going to be our monster hunter, basically. So we need to get him some weaponry. He's got weaponry, Zoe. I mm, don't know what to do with him. I got, I'm just going to do... This. Basically, the only real stuff we want to do is we want to get at least two agents in every city street. That's the goal, the short-term goal. Uh, we also want to, the highest priority is downtown because there's already a hexagon monster here. The other one, the only other thing we really need to do is get Pete to the general store because we're going to use his ability to draw this report from the bottom of the deck. Let's just look at the other bottoms too while we're here. Ooh, Elder Sign. Nice. So basically that's it. Put two agents or more here and uh, move Pete to the general store is all we need to do. So I think because Hank is basically going to be a combat guy, I think I'm just going to go... Uh, one, two, three... Laxel. Zoe is going to go one, two, three, four. But she's actually going to spend four clue tokens while she does that. So when she passes through downtown, she's going to place two agents it costs two clue tokens during your movement phase to you don't have to stop just as you're moving so two tokens places down uh an agent token so that is that done now also she, oh her luck's already at four i just want to make sure i've got everyone's luck as high as possible roland bank's turn now uh, I guess he's going to go one, two, three, four. Have to move his, use his focus to go up one. And Joe Diamond. He's going to go one, two, three. That's about that. Ley line, okay. Now Leo, Leo is on the same as Pete. So Leo's gonna give Pete all his money as he goes to the general store. 
And then he's going to go one, two, and pick up all the clues from the unnameable. Now, the reason why we're giving him the clues over Hank is because he's going to close gates, basically. Actually, you know, Hank is actually better at closing gates because he's got five. Oh, that's five speed. Yeah, he's got five fight. Uh, oh, well. That doesn't matter. Anyway, so he's only got one speed, so we're going to use the motorcycle. So we're going to use the motorcycle to give him two more movements. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm going to use the focus to go up to here, and then before he moves, he's going to give that to Pete. And that way we can tap that for two movements, meaning we can drop his speed down and give him better, take advantage of his awesome sneak stats. And speaking of that, let's do that right now. So he's going to go one, two, three to the general store. He's got two movement from the motorcycle. So boom, boom. And now he's sitting on five sneak. Okay, Lily, Shen and Sister Mary are all we've got left. So like I said, I want to try and make sure the luck is high for these early rounds. There's no real law. I don't know why it was so high. To begin with so I'm just gonna go one two give her a bit more luck and she's gonna go okay so here's the thing the woods location usually is always minus uh, sneak checks because of the Sheldon gang like sneaking around the Sheldon gangs hideouts now if she's at two speed she has three sneak and if she's at three speed, she has two sneak, but she's blessed. So I think technically Sister Mary is better at rolling for in the woods for sneak because it's basically the same die pool. So what I might do is actually have her go one, two, three. Uh, and she needs one focus to go boom. Actually, I did... Oh, I used all her focus to make her go down luck, didn't I? Oh, oh well. So I'll just put sand of the woods, stuff it, whatever. Now, Sister Mary, she's not going to roll for her blessing because uh, she didn't have to roll because she only got it during the setup. So I'll untap that. So now that's active to have to roll for. And we're going to use her, put her luck up one, two, and send her to the historical society. Okay, so that's that. Let's go to Hank and see what happens. Unvisited Arkabumo. A silent man brushes past you on the trail. Your arm goes numb with cold from the brief contact and you whirl around to look at him, but he has disappeared. Lose one stamina and pass a will minus one check or lose one sanity as well. That was a scary dude we bumped into. So will minus one. His will is zero, so that's an automatic fail. Uh, for, or, or should also tap credit rating to gain two bucks. So that's an automatic fail. So we lose a stamina and a sanity. Ooh. Like so. Zoe's in the roadhouse. Kablamo. You enter a friendly card game, make a luck minus one check. Okay, our luck is five. So that is four dice. If you pass, you win $5. If you fail, you lose $3. If you lose and can't pay, the boys rough you up and throw you outside. Lose one stamina and move to the street. So we failed. So we lose $3. We only have $2. So I guess we lose one stamina and move to the streets. It's not too bad. Roland is in the Black Cave. If you have a lantern, you notice a deep pit on... Oh, you know who has a lantern? Uh, Joe Diamond. 
and he's at the uh, graveyard. If only I'd sent him to the graveyard and him to the Black Clave. Whatevs. If you have a lantern, you notice a deep pit in the floor ahead. Looking down into it, you discover an unusual item. Draw one unique item. If you do not have a lantern, you must pass a luck minus two check or fall into the pit in the darkness. If you fall, draw one injury card. Okay, injury cards are super bad. So luck minus two, we want to pass this. His luck is four, so we have two dice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's a... Uh... I'm going to spend a clue token on this. Beautiful. So we pass and that's the end of that. We don't get the item, unfortunately, but we don't get an injury card. And the graveyard, Gabamo. You find a half-buried corpse of a strange being. Draw a monster from the monster cup and take it as a monster trophy, even if it has the endless ability. Nice, what you got for us? Star spawn, beautiful. That's a three-point monster. It is a beast. And we're all well on the way. We actually only need five toughness to pass, so we're almost completed this task. That is awesome. Leo is at the unnameable. Boom. You notice a glint of light in a crevice. If you reach in, make a luck minus one check. If you pass, draw one unique item. If you fail, you feel a sharp pain as teeth clamp down on your hand. You manage to pull free, but you lose two stamina and one sanity. Two stamina and one sanity risk for a unique item. See, it's expensive. Let's do it though. I mean, this is Arkham Horror, baby. It's all about the risks. Let's go for it. If you're not going to roll risky rolls, I mean, what are you even doing playing? Oh, beautiful. And that's a pass, which means we reach in, we do not get bitten, and we get a unique item, which is Milk of Shub Niggerath. This is excellent. Okay, this is a hard-to-use spell, but it's actually very, very powerful. Discard Milk of Shub Niggerath to move all non-spawn monsters in play to your current location, then reduce your sanity to zero and go insane. Sounds bad, right? You go insane when you use this. But the thing is, over here we have the time bomb. So you could actually draw people, you could actually draw every single monster in Arkham, including the sky, right? And blow them all up by exploding that entire location. And uh, yeah, so it's actually pretty awesome. Especially because we've got Bast. So, Guardians of the Home, right? Uh, if a monster would enter the same area as an investigator with a Bast token during the Mythos phase, the monster remains where it is instead. Which means that once you get everyone to a location, you can actually corral them there and stop them from moving. Which means that that, uh, that Dynamite is just super strong item in this game, particularly with Bast. So... That is really good. Now remember, we have Ashcan, so we've got Recursion, which is very rare in this game. That means when we use items, we can get them back by using Ashcan Pete's ability. So that is seriously cool. Uh, that's that. Okay, speaking of Ashcan, we're gonna draw the first one from the bottom. And that is the report, which you're definitely going to buy for zero cost. But what else have we got here? Makeup kit. I don't really care about that, so I'm going to draw from the top. Wait, hang on. Makeup, makeup kit. Oh, what are the chances? It's the makeup kit is on the top and the bottom of the deck at the same time. Whatever's man. And the second one from the top is the Tommy gun. Okay. So we're going to keep the report for zero dollars and discard these two. Lily Shen is at the woods. Yablamo. 
You have stumbled onto a still owned by the Sheldon gang. Make a sneak minus one check. If you pass, skulk away without being seen. If you fail, lose two stamina as the Sheldon gang works you over while escorting you from the woods. In either case, move to the street. So, sneak check. We predicted a sneak check. Uh, our sneak is three, so we rolled two dice. And hopefully, that will uh, pass. Come on! Oh, that's a fail. I'm just going to take the two stamina because we can regen stamina on this character so easily. So two stamina and move to the street. And finally, Sister Mary at the Historical Society. Pass a luck minus one check to gain insight into a skill while studying the old volumes of books. Draw one skill if we pass. That is awesome. So her luck is six. So that is five luck. We need two successes. And we fail getting a success. I'm actually going to spend a die on this. Try and get one more success. It's a 50-50 chance. Come on! Beautiful. So there's that. So we're going to draw our skill. And it's a will. It's expensive, but uh, I think it's worth it. And that's it. We're back at Hank. So that is the end of the encounters phase. Could have gone a lot better. Could have gone a lot worse. Okay, so Mythos, your blammo, it's another head. Oh, okay, look at this. So this one doesn't have a gate open. No, no gate opens, but add two Doom tokens to the Doom track. It's freaking terrible. So that's two, one, two. Also, Hexagon's move, which is your blammo. And... Everything else moves, but uh, there's only moons on the table. So that's that. Miskimatonic scientists research anomalies. Place two clue tokens in the science building, as well as in all street areas and locations adjacent to a vortex. So two tokens into the science building. That's pretty cool. And that's that. Okay, so that wasn't a particularly great start. We've already got three Doom Tokens. Ugh. Okay, well that's that. I will see you guys next time.